Hello Robot Builders, I'm Nick, and today at Robot City Workshop we will be building the Treasure Finder Robot by Tree of Knowledge. This kit is recommended for ages 8 and up, however, if you're part of our after-school program or in-store workshops and happen to be building this with an adult, you can be as young as 7 years old and still enjoy building this kit. Let's unbox. Now that we're unboxed, it's time for step one. Some tools that you'll need for this build include a Phillips head screwdriver and possibly a wire stripper. For step one, we'll be taking the main body of our robot and attaching our motor. Place the motor in the main body so that the worm gear comes out on the other side and your wires are oriented away from this plastic part. Now take one of the flathead washer screws and secure your motor into position. Step one, complete. For step two, we're going to take our gear and wheel and simply place that on the bottom of our robot so that the spur gear is making contact with the worm gear. Now we're going to take our motor cover and set that into position, securing it with four screws. Step two, complete. For step three, we're going to attach our board with this side and this part threaded into this hole. Attach with one of the smaller screws. Step three complete. Step four involves our wires. We're going to be attaching like colors underneath these little springs. You may find that you want to expose a bit more of the wire before doing this. Blue to blue, yellow to yellow, purple to purple, and so on. Step four, complete. And now for the last step, we're going to attach the dome of the robot. Use two of the larger screws. And now all we need to do is install our batteries. The Treasure Finder robot by Tree of Knowledge requires two AA batteries. And now your robot's complete. Once again, I'm Nick. And we have built the Treasure Finder robot by Tree of Knowledge. Remember, if you like this video, give us the thumbs up button and subscribe for future instructional videos. And if you have a question about how to troubleshoot this robot, simply leave a comment down below. And as always, have fun building.